Hello, welcome to a new standard video. <clears throat> so I'm still trying to learn standard, you know that. You know it's not the most popular thing to do on the YouTubes, but since this channel is for me, I will do what I want. So blue black mid range. <clears throat> I have an RCQ this Saturday. And I'm going to play this. Not this list, probably because there will be Karlov Manor by then, and there's this new card. That is like blue black, make a choo choo instant speed. But I just want to, to try the archetype in general. And since the new set is an available jet, I will try this list. This is by Jedrek, TSP Jedrek, the Polish guy. So yeah, Spyglass Siren. This card being constructed playable is interesting, but I understand it's very good with the schooner and very good with Jamon. Sell the third tie. I don't know what you would expect. It's only two counter spells. This is surprising to me. There's very little counter spells. We have more in the cyborg, disdainful, negate, tisanas. But the main deck is very, very light on counter spells. So the blue is usually you play blue for stack interaction, but here it's more like yeah, we just play flyers. <laughs> Flash flyers and air tie. And we have this mana base with this. This, la this land is not terrible. The problem I have with it is that milling ourselves does nothing. We, we get no, no value out of milling ourselves unless we have Takenuma, I guess. But milling our opponent may be risky. So that's not great. But it's the creature land we have in our color. So let's take this through a standard event. Mm -mm -mm. Play traditional standard and let's see. Okay, ah, I'll play first. Slowland, not great, but we have a bunch of good tunes. I guess we play the sooner. Not sure. Yeah, versus black green. So the idea with this card is that it's not easy to kill. Right? Like cut down doesn't kill it and what else doesn't kill it? I want to play the bat, I want to see the hand. Uh go for the throat doesn't kill it either. And then with affliction kill kills it. Oh that kills it. Okay, I mean, I got a land out of the deal. Uh, it's going to be an island for the Spyglass Siren. And I will take your 3 drop, I guess. Not bad. Create a map. We'll use the map later, I suppose. It's true that it kind of draws a card, so that's something. Uh, I'm going to put it on the siren. Like, yeah, it's better to put it on the bat because it will become a choo choo, and that's awesome. But also, it's going to die. I, they're going to kill this one at some point to get the Glissa back, and I want my my siren to keep attacking for two. We're going to draw a bunch of cards with Preacher. Preacher is awesome. I really like this card. I guess it's one of the big reasons why Black is so powerful right now. Preacher is amazing. Yeah, so red, upkeep, kill that. Attack, draw a card, lose one life. We'll play second preacher. I mean, it's not super super awesome versus Sheldred. It's super awesome versus that one. Uh, <clears throat> Do I want to transform? Maybe I do. Attack for eight. Now I'm going to draw two cards and that's it. 
we may find a removal spell here. Nope. This has death touch, so if they try to block. Okay, play this. Play this. Do not use the token yet. Pass the turn. So the idea is they will attack. And if we cannot discard, they will draw a card. And when they draw, we draw extra with Fiery Mastermind. And since they didn't play the soldier first, we didn't get punished. Fairy Mastermind, you die. Unbelievable. This card is so good. Ooh, Sheldred, nice. Perfect. Okay. I mean, 4-4. Four, four. Don't want to kill it. It's just a land, right? I think we're fine. Tack it on the air. Okay, killing, killing my bat. Replaying the Glissa. I suppose. Glissa is very good versus Preacher. That is that much is true. <clears throat> I could attack anyway. <laughs> if I attack and no, I think I'm going to attack, but I, I want to have Sheldred on the battlefield. I will draw two cards here. That's a lot of life with Sheldred. Oh removal? No removal. Well we tried. I think it was well worth it this attack anyway. This having lifelink is very annoying, of course. <clears throat> but we're fine. Yeah, the cell red. We just need to find a removal spell. Oh, will be good. This card extra cellar. We are so ahead, right? Do we have lethal? Maybe we do, I have to count. Haven't counted. Draw stay even. So they block this, this and this. Take four and three seven. Uh, well, this is super bad, right? Yeah. Flyers are nice. And also, we just were on the play and got the tempo in our favor. Anoint seems relevant <coughs> because of the Glissa and the Mosul Red Knight. That's it. Geeks Command, I guess this is a fine. I think make this disappear is going to be good. Maybe maybe I'm wrong. So this is value, right? You sacrifice a creature, I get two back. Tisanas is interesting. It's very good versus Azkalot and this versus Sheldred. Just so expensive. Cutdown is so medium, right? It only really hits the 3-2. The okay, this is a hand. I didn't see this card. I, I kept only because two lands, Fairy Mastermind, I'm keeping. Oh, the bat. That's the reason for cutdown, right? Hmm. Now we have no easy way to kill the bat. The good thing is we have a lot of, like, we can trade with the bat easily, which they cannot trade with ours is as easily because we have the sirens and so on. Okay, cut down anoint Seldred. So if I take cut down, they have to use one of the better removals on the bat. Also, they cannot double spell. A lot of times with this kind of cards, you don't want to take the best card. You want to take the worst removal spell, so they have to use the better one. And now after this, they will be left with a cut down, with, which is just medium, right? Okay, if we draw a land, yeah, Gix is gone, obviously. Makes sense. Mm, do I want to trade here? 
Maybe I do. Uh, yeah, I would like my Juta back. We'll attack because what it's free. <clears throat> and play I play preacher, they can kill it very easily. What if I don't? I don't want. I will just flash the Juta and grow this. Oh, nice. <clears throat> That's weird. I guess they can they kind of have to. But that was a weird choice. We did miss a damage because I, I didn't think through my place uh, as it happens. <laughs> now I'm fine playing Preacher because if they kill it, they don't play Soldred. So I'm fine with that. Yeah, they can double spell now. That's pretty efficient though. Yeah. <clears throat> Tadanino, Tadanino, Tadanino. I want to just roll this thing. Yeah, I think so. Um, <clears throat> I want to force them to kill this and then land my children. That's more or less the plan here. Okay. Are we killing it now? Okay. Oh, that's a nice draw. Let's play the cell, right? And say go. They take two. They can play their own cell, right? If they just play cell, let's say go. We are so in such a great spot. Perfect. Now we are almost lethal. Oh, I wanted to play Tisana as well. This is better. Perfect. I think we win now. <coughs> yeah, you have a 3-2. And another three two, that's fine. I'm going to exile the bat here. Get back my geeks. So I can draw I want. Okay. Pass the turn. They go down to three. They know about the tie binder, so this doesn't do much. Yeah. You may pay three all green mana if you want. That doesn't really do it. That's GG, I guess. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Not the best lands to have in hand because you want them for later, but it's fine. We do have a very good curve. Schooner. Jammo. I don't believe I have bought four copies of this card. <clears throat> Attack, my siren, attack. <coughs> Sorry. Tapiari Stomper. Yeah, so I guess Jamoth Drochu is a good plan 
And if they soon fall after that, well, that's fine. Schooner is a very good thing versus Zoomfall, for obvious reasons. Beagles versus Sweepers, the dual deck. Please have a tap land. If they don't have us, uh, um, Zoomfall here would be very annoying. Okay, that's fine. Five, six, seven. So they. Topia Stompa is now unlocked, but we can manage, right? That is what we can. We can attack this and flip it. This is a very good curve out. Mm. I'm getting host by the main here. Go for the throat. This is the main, or is this like a ramp deck? I, I don't know. <sighs> what to do? What to do? <clears throat> I, I just don't want to get a Traxa. I'm so scared of that. Well, her migration is similar, I guess. We're not beating a her migration, are we? Please hit a spell. Please hit a spell. Please hit a spell. Okay, a spell. This we, we attack now. That's nice. So they have 8 mana, which is exactly Leila binding this plus play, replay her migration. Not great for us, but at least our Celdred is going to be free. That's something, I guess. Auto pay. Now, do I want to attack? I don't think so. If they fail to find a removal for Selvet for a couple of turns, we may have a chance, but I don't think we do. So make this appear seems so weak right now. Okay. <clears throat> mm, they will draw three on that at some point, but not yet. Are we attacking? We are. So the idea of playing blue black is that you beat domain, supposedly. I will see about that. I'm not so sure. I guess the, the cyborg has to be very nice. Like, we really get the, the extra blue cards and interaction. Okay, gain a couple of life. Kind of need the double blocker here. We have four attackers. We need four blockers, so cannot attack. Please miss, and then miss again. <laughs> if they have to activate this, and they don't find a removal right here, right now, we can win. There are four. Okay, we have a chance. A very real chance right now. What a card. A hundred euro card, right? How much is hundred?
Saturday the Apocalypse in car market minimum 76 euros in German 76 euro car me cago en mi madre <coughs> I bought it for like 50 or 45 I think so that's nice are we getting a turn? nice 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 so how do we win here? You know what? I'm going for the win. There's a way to win. Oh, that that's a way to win. Just kill one of the tokens, right? I was going to get the siren and crew an explore onto this siren, attack for two, and then kill. But this works too. No messing up, am I? All of these are lethal. If they kill Seldred here, it would be annoying, actually. Yeah. We have to block all four. They should die in their upkeep. In their draw steps, right? Oh, okay. They stay alive. Still fine, like. They have no board. We're just missing the land. But we have the schooner. Even if they sum for something, we still have the schooner. Well, sum for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sum for will make a 5-5, five, five, I guess. Hmm. Maybe this wasn't expertly played. I could have waited. Just. Oh, there's a sum for? Am I losing now? What seven? <clears throat> so I, once I hit the air tie, I just need, didn't need to do anything, right? Just wait. So maybe I messed up there. That's a five five we cannot really kill actually. I have a lot of champ blockers here, so that's nice. I will... Uh, I'm going to do this now. To use my mana. <coughs> Another land. Okay. Virtue of Persistence One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve mana. So they can play this for seven. Archangel of Wrath. That one is going to be annoying. One, two, three, four. If I make them pay four more, they cannot kick it. No, they have already kicked too. Yeah, that's not how it works. Okay. <clears throat> that's fine. Clear this thing. <clears throat> now I'm going to gain for life, which is extremely annoying. They have another removal spell, we're in a tough spot. They don't, we are kind of fine. I mean, fine. Don't get me wrong. I totally messed up their Thai play. That one's unacceptable. Okay. 
I'm assuming they have nothing. Like this last card is nothing. If it's something, okay. It makes it easier for me, I guess. I mean, it's drawing a card, no? Better than having the land on top, I guess. I suppose. If they only plays Virtue, Virtue doesn't do much in this situation. Uh, <coughs> well, at least we draw with Mastermind. Okay. <coughs> We're going to get to make disappear something on turn 11. Oh my god, I should, I should have just attacked the other game. And I'm, I made this game so much harder than it needed to be. Stomper is fine. That's fine too. What else do you have for me? Nothing else. Okay, make a 3-3. Three, three. Make, make a 1-1, one, one, sorry. Kind of wish it was a 3-3, three, three, but not happening. Kill that. <coughs> Any creature was a good draw here. This Mirex is doing the Lord's work. Uh, I don't want another Schooner. I cannot crew it. I want a Seldred. Take one for my Mirex. Please. Cycling? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, they need something good. They have two cards. They haven't played any Atraxas, so that's the only reason we are not dead, I guess. That's, a, that's great for us. That's very, very great for us. If we win this after messing up, it would be nice, but I totally messed up. That's on me. If you have one takeaway from this game don't mess up play well and you don't have to sweat the populate yeah the populate is fine right what's your last card the problem is we have been missing one mana all the time to go mirrex into make disappear and that's so annoying. We're making one ones versus an opponent that's a three life. That's so scary for them, I guess. <clears throat> this would be the win. We are even going to get them with the poison thingy. Boseju. <laughs> Mosei do I care? Yeah, I will counter it because I still have make disappear ready. So now they can draw a removal spell, but we can make disappear it with casualty. That wasn't clean or nice. So this is good, 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 this is good. This seems terrible. At least two go for the throats have to go out, right? Like go for the throat is so medium versus them. What else is so <coughs> What else is not great? Schooner is good. I don't think Evolve Sleeper probably fine. So I kind of like everything, so I, I guess it's going to be like take one from here, one from there, like 
one siren one preacher probably geek sounds good is mm. I need some number of go for the throats, right? To kill stuff. And the counters are good, the rest are good. Uh, this guy is medium. I'm going to take out one schooner, I think. It was good, but now we are not so exposed to sunfall. I have no idea how to cyborg. And since nobody's making standard content, how do I learn? Well, playing, I guess. Maybe I over cyborged But I, I hope we're fine <laughs> So the idea will be to play like Delver style, right? We play a couple of creatures, cheap creatures and then just Counter spell, counter spell, counter spell This is my Delver It's a 1-1 one -one. It flies Delver doesn't fly until it flips Mm. Are we killing the siren? Are we doing something? No, oh, schooner. Let's play the schooner then. Now on three, they can play a stomper. That's fine. And then we never tap out again. Hopefully. That's the whole plan here. They can kill this, that's fine. Oh, I get to attack. Get my explore trigger, make this a. Well, drawing cards. Drawing extra cards is always good, you know? Even if it's lands. Like the land was gonna be there anyway, so. We got carabanded. B2 B2 sucks for me I'm going to play Mirrex Start pumping out one ones Now we can go Disdainful plus Fairy, Master Fairy Mastermind That's nice I kind of want to Tisana type under that trigger they may not have any more. They may not have many more lands. I want them ramping. Okay, they do have a land. What are we playing now? I think they have exactly her migration. It it seems so right. Oh now this is a 4-4. No questions asked. This is just a 4-4. That's funny. No vigilance, but it's a 4-4. I will do this and try to make this thing bigger. <coughs> Keeping their tie sounds like a wonderful idea. They can jump, that's fine. Okay, this position is wonderful, right, for us. We have. They can overpower us, especially with Cavern of Souls. And now it's like. Counter that. Play Mastermind. And just keep going. I uh, should have attacked first because I'm going to explore and if I find a land, yeah, I will have wanted to play that land. That was a mistake. We have to learn from our mistakes. That's the only thing you can do. Okay, even if this is a Draxa, we are so fine. Archangel of Wrath. Uh, yeah, I don't want that resolving. Okay, I think we're getting to a point where even oh they draw and we draw yeah. Oh my god, I have to remember all, 
when, when I play this on paper, I have to remember the triggers. The Fairy Mastermind triggers. Yeah, that that speaks. That says Sunfall to me. That's what it says. Totally says Sunfall. That's fine. If they Sunfall, we go token, then Seldred. Or we can even flash this and stay binder. Uh, yeah, play that. I draw. You draw, I draw, everybody draws. Okay, now if they sunfall, we have lethal. Sure thing. Yeah. I just want to play all my creatures, I want them to have flash. That's why the, the new Choo Choo I, I really like. It's not great versus a style effects, of course, but it's going to be a Choo Choo with flash, and you, ha you, can, ne you can never tap out. Okay, we did this second game seemed so easy, so easy. When you have the extra counter spells from the cyborg, maybe it's very easy. And the first one will have been easier if we didn't mess up. <clears throat> okay, third match. This feel arena games feel a lot. <sighs> How to put this? Like when you're playing a magic online league, it's not so different from this. But it feels better. I don't know why. Like, there's no reason this opponent should be weaker than a your average Magic Online opponent, right? Well, I guess, yeah. The reason is that there's only good players left on Magic Online because all the casual players are on Arena. Yeah, that's actually a thing. That's happened. <clears throat> Can I make this into a choo choo? It's not that a choo choo raises the 1 1. I don't want to draw that. I really don't. Uh, we're gonna stare at, at each other for a while. The problem with playing standard is I don't know what my opponents are playing, so I, I really. Ooh. Okay. I know that card. It's not good for me. <coughs> so attack here. Now, I don't want them to be drawing cards. You don't, you don't want to be 20 20. When Preacher attacks, that's the only thing I know. <coughs> Wedding announcement, okay. Uh, this card beats us, right? Like, straight up beats us, beats us. Do I want to die for life? No, because they get both things, right? So, no. I know, but oh, children, they're going to pay two now. So I should have attack. So they were at fifteen. If they had a removal spell on the up, on the upkeep, it didn't matter, I guess. Okay, I'm not blocking. They play their own children. I mean, at least I, got, I have the go for the throat for that. And I start attacking here, I guess. <clears throat> We're in a tough spot. This car is adds so much value for them Restoration of Iganjo, okay Feels every card they are playing has but generates a lot of value and we are just playing random stuff also a bit fluid Do not play a second wedding announcement, please Okay, I will. I will get back my geeks. I think. So now removal spell kills this and allows me to connect with Seldred and draw. I think that's right. I don't think they have a removal. If they had it. Well, they can have like annoying with affliction to kill my geeks. Beauty of loyalty, shoot. Okay. 
My plan didn't work. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. We're getting destroyed. Oh, oh, we cannot beat that. At the beginning of your last step, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control and an untap them. Each creature, each. Unbelievable. Now going to have an army of life lingers. <coughs> Yeah, I don't think there's any way we get out of this situation. But... <clears throat> Soldier is powerful, but it doesn't beat all the lifelink. And they have lifelinked a lot. Yeah, next turn they just grow it again and we die. Yeah, yeah, we're dead, we're dead. Mm. Okay, so for this, Geek's command, right? That's the answer. Yeah, has to be. An anoint is better than cut down in this matchup, for it seems so. Make this appear seems so weak. Maybe that's why we don't play counters, like every every threat is so cheap and efficient. This doesn't host sagas, so maybe that's not the card we want. <coughs> maybe we want Dures. They played a lot of sagas. Is Dures better than Negate? They are similar, but not the same. This is cheap and proactive. This is reactive and more expensive. Yeah, I think I think taking the wedding announcement seems important. Ertai seems very medium, right? Killing tokens or something, not great. A fairy mastermind, I think it's just too good. This guy is too good. <clears throat> Provides a lot of value. I'm going to take out the kicks. And it's the Wayne and stuff, it seems... I don't know, me. As you can see, I have no idea why, why or what am I doing. No, what am I doing or why am I doing it. Uh, this seems fine. <coughs> to one rest. Virtue, Virtue, Wayne. So I can take this, then... Deep cavern the other wedding and die to this one. Taking the removal before my deep cavern bad that seems like a no brainer. Okay. Now, is it better to take Oh, they have a go for throat. Is it better to take virtue or wedding? Virtue actually. They're going to go turn to their own bat, I imagine. Hit my bat or hit my anoint. Okay, hit my anoint. I'm going to take the, <clears throat> the go for the throat and then try. If they play a land, they are very incentivized to play one of the sagas. Oh, that's kind of perfect. Because now we resolve our children. And that's pretty neat, I think. Okay, we are in a decent spot, I would say. They can discard the bat and bring him back, which I love that interaction. I think that's super good. Like, that's a zero mana, a deep current bat, which is amazing. <clears throat> and now we start attacking. 
Oh, oh, last uh, great draw. It's so great. I'm like, I'm killing this. I'm, atta I'm attacking for six. Yeah, champion makes sense. We successfully dismounted our opponent's hand. 100%. Kill the saga. Just let Seldred do Seldred, Seldred things. I don't think we have any incentive to keep cards in hand. It's more. I think we have all the incentives in the world to play out, play out our cards because six mana means we can play Utah and activate, for example. <clears throat> this deck lacks a bit of card drawing, right? Like now we can only draw one for ones. Except for the Mirrorx. I guess that's where the creature lands come in. They are so important at that point. Well, Seldred efficiently traded with all of the wedding family. Uh, oh, I forgot to make a Mirrorx token last turn. That was a mistake. Uh, yeah, that's the same for you. I cannot, I cannot click on that. <coughs> they can attack with the priest. I think I'm fine. You get your 2 2 life linker, which is annoying. Another? That's very annoying. Okay, lookout is fine. My own priest. Do I even care about my own priest? I guess it will draw cards next turn. Priest is awesome. Having lifelink, having death touch, sorry, makes it so great. Tagging with two, okay, interesting. They will draw and step, but they're making a bunch of two two, so I guess it's, it's worth it for them. Yeah, we're losing now. They are generating a lot of value. We have our own priest, which is fine, but not broken or anything. Guess I'm fine attacking here. Do they have a bit? Oh, they found a removal spell. Oh, now, now we are in a tough spot. Oh, they're just uh, out riding us big time. Oh, that's good. That's very good. I want to go for the throat, one of those. Or do I just. Go for the throat, one of the preachers. I'm going to attack anyone first, see what happens. See what I hit. Geeks command, I wanted that. I can't replay the Seldred, but I think if I kill one of those, it's better. Right? I can do the same thing again next turn. So they are not blocking or attacking with their bat. That's a choice. Who 
We are so behind still. Double preacher is just so much value. Maybe I should have traded the soldier for the preacher long time ago and tried to win with the mirrexes. <clears throat> It's too late for that. <clears throat> okay, change of plan, I think. I don't, I don't believe I can afford to attack anymore. Okay, we're dead. Uh, I, I don't think I played this game well. Just didn't... I didn't understand the power of the preachers. And the life link and everything. They gained so much life. We have no way to punish that. Hmm. Need to reevaluate choices. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Missy Mulligan and Missy Keep, I guess. Mm. If I put this, I, no, I have to put down the swamp. Because if I put down the underground river, I cannot play a schooler if I draw it. And this way, I have my black mana guaranteed anyway. So, preacher, preacher, harvester. Bitter. Let's take bitter. Then we kill Harvester with cut down. Evolve the evolve sleeper. And keep going. Harvester. I, I cannot believe Harvester is legal in standard and I'm not playing it. It's so weird. Like I have played the card forever. In every format. Had they only had one one priest, maybe I would have considered taking it. It not dying to cut down is so annoying. Oh that's that's a nice draw. I think. Yeah, right? We cannot draw with the sleeper, but we draw with cover. But yeah. Next turn we can go Otawara the second priest. Cut down the token, attack, draw three cards. And that will put us in a very decent position, I would say. Okay. <coughs> I think I'm fine with that. Kill this. They can have a cut down here. Still, we are drawing two cards at least. I don't think they do. So, draw, draw, draw. Ja Geeks is a powerful card. <coughs> wow, that was a hell of a turn. Tempo. Is this tempo? <laughs> what is tempo? Now we will over tie resurrected and attack. And more, it's more or less the same. They can start a chain of removal spells like kill your bat, get back the bitter triumph, kill your geeks. That's always annoying. <coughs> I just do this on the preacher. Yeah, I think so. Let's kill the preacher. We draw. Th we draw two more cards here. The captain. That's a nice draw. And we'll flash this at some point. 
One, two, three, four. Yeah. <clears throat> wow, these geeks won the game by itself. We drew like six extra cards. Yeah, so annoying has to come in. There's going to be this new card, right? Like it kills a creature, power three or less, and cannot be countered. That's going to be nice. I think that's it. We want cut downs because harvester and probably bats. Yeah, I'm going to do just this. I'm thinking we have four go for the throat. And that's all the cards we have to kill. Priests and soldiers and whatever four drops people play. And that's like very little, right? I guess we just use key to combat to trade since they have death touch and stuff and if we are ahead but I don't know, that's weird okay just need a blue source we have a lot of blue sources in our deck every land that's not Takenuma or the third swamp is a blue source also any, any land gives us geeks you know we have a lot of choices. Not choices. Draws. We have a lot of wood draws. Cavern of Souls. I mean Pyrexian. Yeah, I think the new removal does the new Anoint with Affliction. The fact that it kills Rafin. It has to be good, right? Kills a Schooner too. But why is annoying with affliction not more played? If it hits more or less the same things. Hmm. I will take the preacher, I guess. Then having all these top end cards makes me want either Dures. Oh, that's a nice draw. Uh, I want either Dures or I want um, Negates, maybe even Disdainful Strokes, if they are going to be like a big deck. You can kill my bat, that's fine. They find a land for the Preacher, that's annoying, but ooh, they missed. Okay. Let's try to punish here. Yeah, we are super ahead right now for obvious reasons. They kept a hand of six with two lands and a bat. It's a perfectly fine hand to keep. Bitter Triumph, discarding, okay, makes sense to me. Yeah, keep that. Play second schooner, and this game should be over, like they are doing nothing, they have no lands. Okay, they can draw. If they draw, we draw, so it's fine. Uh, we just kill that. Play Soldred. Crew. Crew. Attack. For six. Two triggers. Graveyard that and draw. Okay. Get alive. Sure. It's very funny because now we have a 4 3 flyer that's <laughs> very menacing. So that's pretty cool.
not attacking with Soldred, not exposing it in combat. Like, if they want to kill one of my creatures, it's going to have to be one of the other creatures. So Soldred stays alive. All of the lands, that's fine. Okay, they can double jump. There are one, a two, a one, two, three. Dead. Let's go for the last round. We are going to keep the triple siren threat. This is not great until we draw ja uh, gigs. And suddenly we are cooking. Siren, siren, siren. Do we want to? Explore on each siren, or do we want to explore all on one? Try to make like a 4 4. Hmm. Asus. Hello, I have another siren. You know what? I'm going to try to make this a 2 2. I'll keep that. Now I can block. It's better than playing the third siren. No, oh, they can block my. They can tap my thingy. And they want to trade. I'm going to make two choos. Or attempt to make two choos. And I don't know why this doesn't seem like a very tier deck. Just a hunt. But it happens all the time, right? Like you, you play a random league or something and somebody's playing whatever deck they want. Schooner. Yeah, that's... Should I sell that? They, they have blue blue. There's no reason to not sell that, I guess. <clears throat> okay, this is cool. Makes your things into five fours, and when it dies, you discover. Also, it's an artifact, so my go for the throat, not doing much. Okay, let me take a look at what's going on. Yeah, I think we're fine. We did play in another video I made. We played versus like a food deck. It was like blue green artifacts, food stuff. <coughs> this seems similar. But mono blue. Yeah. Go for the throat. That resolves. I don't care about that. You can't gain the life or something. Doesn't really matter. Mm, sure. I mean, we're not losing this race. I don't think. Wow, ninjutsu. Wow. Okay. 
don't even know what that does. I think it draws a card or something. So it draws unless you en it enter the turn. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> we win now. You may pay a life and draw a card, but with children, that's a lot of extra life. So that's pretty cool. What a combination. Yeah. That was easy. So annoying seems decent. Uh, go for the throat seems medium. Dures probably decent. And make disappear probably not great. But seems underwhelming actually. <clears throat> but but followed by Yamoth by Geeks, sorry. That doesn't seem underwhelming. <coughs> I may not even want to trade, right? Because of the Geeks. Also, Preacher seems very good. I need to buy, like, Vampire Lifelink tokens. I need to buy all the tokens. Like, just buy your tokens, okay? When you buy these things in paper, buy the map token, buy the... Vampire token, buy the Mirrex token. Make it easier for you and your opponents to understand what's going on in the game. I'm not blocking. Another one. Mm -hmm. Castle and... I will take the kite cell. It's annoying. The bounce spell is whatever. Let's trade. They didn't trade. So this is blue mana bounce. When they control an artifact creature. That's nice. <coughs> what is that? Oh wow. That's a wood card. They put it into a graveyard? Huh, interesting. I'm playing second bat. I want to play one of my threes and get it bounced. So bad tempo. Such bad tempo. They can do that with the bat too. What? Why? Well, is it a sorcery? It is an instant. What on earth? Uh, that sounds good versus the choo choos. Only problem now is I don't have double black for this. Jutsu. Oh, yeah, you know it. Ninjutsu. And Ninjutsu is annoying, because now they can play this and make it a choo-choo. Huh. That's problematic. Now they have a choo-choo. And a schooner on top. I don't really care about the schooner, I don't think. Ginger Brute. Um, not having color mana... It's not my favorite thing in the world. At least, if we unlock the life linkers, we are fine. I'm going to jump here, preserve my life total a little bit. If we draw a swamp, we'll be so fine. That's not a swamp. Still, still think we are fine. We gain three life here. That's a lot. Then we have a one one. I want to play another preacher. Go down to eight. What if they draw a removal spell? We die? No, no, we don't die. Uh, 
I'm going to have to cut down the gingerbread because it's unblockable. Maybe. If they missed here, they just draw a blank well, in a great spot. That's not a blank. Oh, that is lethal. Yeah, I didn't count, I didn't count on the Thoetic Leaf. That was a good draw. Yep, <clears throat> my mana was a bit rough this game. Maybe I miss. I didn't play it correctly. I want more cutdowns, right? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't realize that. In order to go for throats, maybe bring the geeks command. And in order to tie our bats seems so medium. Uh, let's take out a siren. I just don't love the siren. I understand why it's good, or at least why it's playable. I don't know if it's good. We're on the play, that's pretty nice. Sure, this is Han. Perfect mana too. They have a lot of one drops, but Schooner into Geeks or Schooner into Preacher? Probably Schooner into Preacher. So like this deck, what I feel about this standard, and it's been like that for a while, I think, was like that in the last year's regional championship too. The proactive threats are so good. Like, why would I sit here with a like, wall of counter spells when I can just go, you know, play banger after banger of a card? You know? So I understand playing the blue cards because you like them or whatever. And that makes this deck better than black green or something, but it's not about having counter spell interaction, it's about hitting your opponent so hard every turn. Oh tempo. Tempo is annoying. So I'll read this tempo. I will show you the tempo. Why didn't they do that with this? They kind of missed out on an attack there, right? Had I let Spyglass on top, I would have gone 3 drop plus Spyglass. The only problem with Scooter has always been the problem with vehicles. It's now I don't have a blocker back because I had to tap this to attack. If the, these were two creatures, I would have a, a blocker. I would have played a soldier and it would block. So always keep that in mind when planning out your turns and whatnot. Fading Hope. Oh, that's tempo. That's certainly tempo. Ooh, Glyph is annoying. Now this is a lot of damage. Okay. They have that Otawara there. Oh, we are totally, we are totally getting out tempoed here, like for real. I think we are dead. Now they, the Otawara, the schooner. Well, we are not technically dead. <coughs> but we are dead. We are dead. They totally tempoed us out. Hmm, that sucks. Uh, they got a lot of that. Hmm. 
They're super dead, right? There's nothing getting us out of this situation. Oh, oh. Well, we got completely out tempo by their cheap plays. Maybe I could have played differently. Left the siren on top, double spell, play cheaper stuff. Maybe not attacking. Maybe I was too aggressive. I started. I was on the play. I thought I was the aggressor, but suddenly it got reversed so fast. I have a lot to learn about this format. I hope you're enjoying learning with me because standard is hard, and it's also the, the more. I think it's the format that's more rewarding for knowing and testing and knowing the, your deck and your opponent's deck and knowing the format deep, deeply. So yeah, we will keep learning this week. Probably next video in, is going to be in two days and it's probably going to be this deck with the new cards. Um, I'm just telling you that. So please let me know in the comments decks you would like to know, how to play this, how to play the format. Just try to... let's learn together, okay? And come tomorrow for Q. Every day. There's a video here every day. See you.